Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got Benny Ark with me. Hi, Elsie. How you doing? Just two of us on the show this morning. Yes, 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 yes. So Ewa we can just without everyone knowing, right? <laughs> Did she's, you have to pause? She's watching. Maybe not. So you can tell me those things you wanted to tell her. And I was thinking, my mind. I mean, once crazy sometimes, like mm -hmm. you know, like we're spinning, we're spinning tea. Mm -hmm. So what if sometimes, literally, you actually just spill tea over the. I have set. a feeling that I'm getting to that point on the show <laughs> when someone will say something very, very, and I will spill tea like. And that will be okay. The producers wouldn't have any problem with that because it's uh, we're even, spilling tea. Even so. when they do, I mean, I would have spilled the tea before <laughs> realizing they had a problem with it. But it's all good. It will get hot soon. Anyway, let's go on for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll definitely have plenty tea to spill. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is Still Time on Plus TV Africa. Nollywood actor, politician, and soon to be pastor, if I'm allowed to say so, Yule Doche says he must change, or uh, we must change the way we reason as people and celebrate each other while alive. Using his recent accident as a point of reference, he tweeted, and I quote, I survived a terrible accident and nobody came to celebrate my life. If I had died, many, if I had died, many Ashwabi groups would turn up to celebrate my life. Fake love everywhere. Someone will even choose to buy a 10 million naira casket to bury me. We must change the way we reason as people, end of quote. Okay, so that's a picture of the ghastly yeah, motor yeah. accident. Yeah, it was really bad. I remember when he shared the picture some time ago and he was very grateful to be alive. I mean, looking at that, you should be grateful for him. Yeah. But back to what he's saying, I, I, I totally agree because we do not celebrate ourselves enough as a people. Like, I know we are getting to the point where individually we'll say we're blowing our own trumpet. If they don't tell you you're doing good, tell yourself you're working hard. That's for yourself. But for a friend, for your family members, they they don't remember to take care of you until you fall sick. They don't remember to appreciate your hard work until the hard work is no longer coming, right? So I feel like I get what he's saying. And we all, it's not just about him, me, or some group of people. I think everybody needs to. Um, put an extra effort in expressing. If you love a person, tell the person you love the person. If this person is taking care of you in a way that you know is awesome, tell this person this is what you're doing, this is how important you are in my life, this is how special you are. To us and to everybody, I, we should really appreciate each other. I think it's very important. I think we're just a generation of people who... I said it some time ago on the show that we have a lot of humans with no humanity. So we have a lot of human beings walking the earth, but we, we've, we've lost a great deal of our humanity. By extension, Yuli Dochi is known by so many people, I mean, for, for his work mm -hmm. in Hollywood, I believe. You know, and for him, for him to come out and, and cry this way, then it means it's really terrible. Because you expect someone like him to have people around him, you know, people who care, family members, friends, colleagues in the industry, um, who will reach out and extend their sympathy, their love and care for him. But unfortunately, nobody really cares. Uh, um, people pretend they do care, but when push comes to shove, you come to realize that you are on your own. Really, I wouldn't really. want to say nobody really cares. Again, like you said, again, I think it's the mindset. Yeah, I was going to come. I'm going to come to another part okay. of it again. Again, you know, I think some people are quite fortunate and fortunate in life, and because I don't believe in luck, mm -hmm. that they're surrounded by people who will go the extra mile to show how much they mean to them and how much they do, they do care. Mm -hmm. And this also is a fact of how much you've made yourself 
available, you've been there for other people. Not necessarily. Yeah. Like you said, some people yeah. are fortunate, they just have them. Even yes. when those people are not there for certain people, they're just lucky. When it's their birthdays, you see cakes everywhere. It's not like they make an extra effort to get cake for other people, but they're just you know, lucky. I just you think, don't like I used the word lucky, think but so, it just happens you know, that I used way. to think so about for, for, being, for, being, for being there, doing what you do, people appreciate you, people should always be there for you, but it doesn't always follow. Mm. All right? People remember you for so much so, um, the impact you've had on them. And even at that, not everybody you've impacted will be able to be there for you when that time comes that you need them to be there for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so people are fortunate to have people who really care for them and they're always there at every point in time, even when it doesn't matter, you find them around these people. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's fortunate as, as those people, you know? And so we'll, we'll never always have people come show us how much they care about us. That's why we do need it, mm -hmm. you know? And for me, what I've tried to realize, I think I just feel that some set of people that were sent into this life to always be at the giving end and mm -hmm. never receiving. I guess so. You know, I just, I just feel there's some people who were just created and that's just their life's you purpose. You need to accept it, you know, right? Exactly, accept it and have no expectations. Like, I'm one, I don't expect anything from anybody. I don't even expect gifts on days that are special to me. So when somebody goes out of their way and give it to me, my first reaction is surprise, mm -hmm. shocked, you know. Then again, like, oh, she really didn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's taken me a whole lot to begin to learn how to receive and accept. Okay, but bringing it back to your story, yes. yeah, there's a picture I'm painting in my head. We're in the social media age, yes. and God forbid, but if you had died in that accident, mm. it would trend. Oh, like you rightly said, somebody probably two, pop up from for somewhere. at least two days he will trend. Everybody will head to his family RIP, house. Peter Dutcher will get calls. You know, condolences and all that. But what would it have taken from people to? I mean, Instagram makes it easy now. Just push his post to your story and say, "I celebrate you. Elsie, I thank God for your life." This story was just on the blog. Care. They should. Uh, no, that's what I'm saying. I oh, don't I, think that people don't care. I they, think that they have not wired their mind to appreciate others and the fact that life that's is because a gift that can be taken away at it. any time. Elsie, we're saying we're say the same thing differently. Mm -hmm. All right? People don't so much care like you think they, they, they would or they should. Mm. You know? And so, yes, you're thinking, you know, it's because they're not wired that way. And that's because they're not paying you any attention. They're not paying you any mind. Mm. You know, um, not, not to go so personal, I'm, I'm trying to make this as generic as possible, all right? You see people who you know and in a position to help mm -hmm. and push comes to shove, they're indifferent, about, they're indifferent about what you just said to them. They don't care. And so this is for you to realize, I think for me, moments like this, I reassess my friendships, mm -hmm. my, my, my circle of friends, associations, you know, because at the end of the day, a friend of mine used to say something that if you have five friends and you're ever in need of five million naira, mm -hmm. and you have five friends that can, that can give you that money and they don't, it's a big pointer. It's, mm. it's a serious issue. You begin. You have. You need to reassess. True. Reassess the friendship you have on those Which people. Which is why, for me, I would say tribulations is an opportunity That's to so what realign the people That's in your it. life. So whenever it happens, instead of you to be sober, just understand that these people will be there for me in this way. These people will be there for me in this way. Are they supposed to be my inner circle? You just said it's it. left for you to decide you just, and understand you just how said to it navigate all. it. And don't forget, success has, has many friends. Mm. Most of the people, people will be there. They will run at every. Not to mention any name. It's because those people are, are so successful. People are always around them. Let anything go, go, go off or go wrong. You realize that because of what it is you wear or what you had, that was the attraction. Mm. People don't necessarily care. Okay, I think we need to move on, but I would still say if you are not wired that way, then maybe you should think about it. Sometimes people are just nice, but they're carried away with the hustles of <laughs> life or the, the stress of life that they don't remember or even understand how to express how they feel. Yeah, so maybe we should be deliberate about it. And that comes to the point I made earlier that you know what? Again, it depends on how much you also you make yourself available for people. Because say if you're there for people, those same people will be there for you. That doesn't always go. It doesn't There's work some that people way. that will not even be there for you. Key yourself for them, mm -hmm. they will not it be there for you. It doesn't work that way. Anyway, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. We'll be right back. 
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on, up for conversation is about Nollywood actress Damilola Adigbite, who cautions women to be careful with car mechanics. So um, I'm sure she was speaking from experience. We have yep. the video. We'll probably play it very soon. But um, I, I like how she said it. I mean, she said, let me pick the points I got from her. She's been driving. Her first car was like 10 years ago, right? Secondly, she has a Benz. And then third, uh, the bill that was given to her was about 350,000 naira. And at the end of the day, I think she spent, no, I don't know if it's nothing now, that side was not very clear, but what we, they were going to fix was just a, a rubber that um, shifted. So um, this mechanic of hers that she's been using for over 10 years has been ripping her off, and she's just finding out now. And um, she's always been fighting for this mechanic, even when her friends tell her, you know what, this guy does not understand the kind of car you drive now. You should change him. And she's like, you know, I'm comfortable with this guy. I've been using it for a very long time, so I think you should do my stuff for me. But apparently, this guy has been chopping her real good. And unfortunately, the guy's Christmas money is not going to come true, <laughs> right? And another part that um, I picked was her saying, you need to share um, your car um, quotes. Or what, how do you put With a man, make sure. With a man. Yeah, get a man involved. Must it be a man. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. first, first of all, I go into it. Uh, issue. Mm. Um, this was like some time ago, like, like last week or so. I mean, let me gush over a debut here first. I mean, Damien Lola, she, she's she's stunning. No, she's, I have a few people I gush over. Okay. You know, she's stunning. She's beautiful. Like, she's one of my sweethearts. You gush over Princess Shingo. You gush Shingo. over Angela Okoye. You gush over who was the who last else one? Again? Exactly. Okay, and those, this those, is four. Okay. Said, she's my. She's a sweetheart. She is. Mm. You know, and, and like. And I just need to find a way to let her know pretty soon. Uh, mm. she's, she's, there's something just sweet about her. Mm -hmm. So that being said, Noted. I'm surprised that um, Adibuta is just coming to terms that mechanics are like, they're like demons in disguise. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody who's ever, anybody who ever, who's ever dealt, had a deal with a mechanic would know that they're, they're, they're liars, they're cheats. They will do anything to rip you of your money. Um, just uh, something as, as simple as a bow joint could be bad in a the car. They'll tell you that the, the entire engine needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. You know, just a small thing as maybe, um, uh, what's it called? What's it called now? It could be the tiniest thing as a plug that needs to be changed. They will inflate it and tell you, if you don't do something about this car right now, the engine is going to knock out. So I'm surprised that that came to us as a surprise, that you had a mechanic who you've been using for a long time. And that is the more reason why he's going to bilk you of your money and rip you off, because you trust him. So anything he tells you goes, you know? And to find out that the cash was, the message message was using, the bill was given to about over 300 k and not even a fraction of that money was needed to fix what was bad in our car. Mm -hmm. It was just a rubber, and then for one of one of the bow joints that went bad, mm -hmm. you know, and so the car was having a whole lot of shaking in this movement. Mechanics, well, some mechanics, let me not generalize, <laughs> some mechanics have perfected the art of inflating stuff. I saw a comment yeah. on the post on a blog, and the person said, even this mechanic, it's just trying to gain your trust. That once they get your trust, you are going to be the bank and the ATM. So once they need something and you're there, they inflate the whole price and get the money out. Yeah. So even, even us as guys, we're still skeptical and suspicious of our mechanics when they tell us stuff. So that's mm -hmm. what we try as much as to know as much body parts 
of a car that you can know, mm -hmm. the entire engine. So when mm. they tell you this, you want you want to confer with somebody else. You want to you want to cross check with somebody else. Even as guys, we do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and. She said something very important for ladies out there. Not everyone will know anything about a car. Mm -hmm. Most women just enter the car and they drive. And so, mm -hmm. yes, cross check with your male friends and say, you know what, hey, my mechanic said this. That was a good advice she gave. Right, but at the same time, and that also oh, made me duh. feel some kind there of way. There are men that don't know anything about cars. The way she has it's been a driving given. a car for 10 years, it's a given. and she still doesn't know a thing about a car. There are so many men that have interest. driven cars for 20 years interest and they don't know. Right? It's all it's about interest. interest. So yeah. I think um, she's probably part of those that have seen um, cars and um, the parts of cars and plumbing and painting and electric, electric, electrical works as a men's thing. So they are not interested. They just want to enjoy it and move on. But there are women. I've met women that... They are knowledgeable. They I agree know with everything yeah, about the car they are driving. In fact, yeah. my mom, she used to drive a C20 bus and this was like way 1980s. And... She knew everything. In fact, I, the knowledge of the car, of cars that I know or vehicles I know came from her because she That's will cool. tell you, oh, this is this, this is this, this is how it is. You cannot come as a mechanic and tell her this is changing. She will first of all ask you, why is this affecting this car in yeah. this way? You have to explain it. And when you explain it and it doesn't add up, then there's a problem. She knows she has to meet somebody else. So it's because you're just uninterested. So maybe the advice should be run it by someone who is knowledgeable in that area, yeah. not necessarily a man. That's how I feel about well, but it. Well, that's what the, 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 the cliche is most men are knowledgeable about let's car not do the parts. Cliche, but let's I mean, take so, the video, though. The video yeah. is ready. Please, if you own a car and you feel like your car needs some work to be done on it, you want to go to the mechanics, please. Every time the mechanic gives you a quote, have him break it down. Details, what do you want to fix? How much is this? How much is that? What is this? What is that? And, you know, sum it up. And after he does that, always run the quote by a guy, a male friend, your boyfriend, your daddy, your husband, a colleague, Always have a guy check it out before you make payment. These guys are wild. My car a couple of days ago, oh no, what am I saying? Well, about two, three weeks ago, was making some kind of sound at the back. And I was going to take it to my mechanic, but a friend of mine said no, that he would take it to his mechanic because he's more of a band specialist. And he sorted that out. I saw the bill, wow. So, Fast forward to like two weeks after, my car started to make another sound. And then I um, I had it taken to my mechanic because I didn't know, you know, the mechanic that my friend had taken it to. But anyway, uh, Brian, but anyway, um, my mechanic now gave me a quote, okay, the bill. My spirit was just like, this is off, something's not right here. So I sent the bill to the guy who I bought my car from just to help me look through and see that everything was okay. By the way, I'm going to tag him at the end of this video. He does not even know that I'm doing this. This is not a sponsored post. His after-sales services, top-notch, nothing like it I've ever experienced. You buy a car from him, he's always there at your beck and call if you need assistance or help with anything. Great job, I'm gonna tag him and if you're looking to buy a car, please check him out. He's one of the best, I can assure you. So anyway, um, so I sent the bill to him and he said to me, this is so inflated, this is really high. I said to him, I don't even know what's going on because I just, it's not even, it's like two weeks this car went in and got thorough work done on it. So I sent him that bill and the breakdown. This is why I say give it to guys because they know. Me, I was just seeing front, ball joints, stabilizer, something screw, something pad. I didn't even know. But he said to me what this guy is, what your mechanic is claiming he wants to fix now is what these guys have already sorted. So uh, he said to me, go back to the, you know, uh, to your friends, guys, and tell them that what they fixed, something's off. So I went there, and then they said to me, oh, you know, take a seat, we'll sort it out. In less than, what, like 30 minutes, they had sorted it out. Apparently, just one little piece of rubber came off and needed to be replaced. That's what my mechanic gave me a bill of almost 350000 naira for. That's the gist. Lessons so. learned. Mm-hmm, lessons That's learned. Lessons it took learned. her 10 so, years to learn it. So she always <laughs> want everything about her car now mm -hmm. by a guy, and that's, that's a lesson she's learned, and so... That's that's it for her, man.
She looks so good in that video. Naturally. Run it by a knowledgeable person. That's all. Moving on to the next story. What, Never... you, what you got against running it by a man, though? Because we need to break the barrier of this like is that? a man thing and this is a woman's thing. We're all living oh, in this that world. Role. That's the point. Okay, I agree with we you. We need that. to break down the yeah. role thing. Yeah, I agree. They are female mechanics. I hope you know. Yeah, of course, yes. And they do. They do excellently well. I agree. I, I see where you're coming from. On that ground, I agree so with you. So you know, see, since you're looking Touché. at that Damilola since. Wow. Okay, moving on. Never give up uh, on your dreams. And this is coming from President Trump. Um, this is a reaction to a portrait of himself made by a Nigerian artist. The artist, identified as creative underscore docs on Twitter, said that it was the second time he would be painting President Trump. And this time, he wanted him to see it. Well, he saw it and encouraged him to never give up on his dreams. He said, and I quote, not only did I see it, I think it is fantastic. I mean, kudos. Congratulations to him. You know, exactly. Like, kudos to Creative on the Docks. Mm -hmm. I mean, great painting that it took him, I mean, like over 70 something hours mm -hmm. to, to, to do that. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. It's amazing I mean, how so much spotlight is not being put on, on arts. You know, those the, the artists we have who are into painters in Nigeria, I think so much needs to be done for them to, to bring them to, to, to the limelight. I remember also there was a period, somebody also did a painting of Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. a Nigerian guy. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart also saw it. Kevin bought it. Kevin bought it. And bought for some you know, of his friends. But now we're talking, this is the United States, of, um, the president of the United States of America, mm -hmm. almost like the president of the world. I mean, recognizing mm -hmm. a gift, a talent. Mm -hmm. And so it shows how much of talent. I don't believe that will open doors for him. It should open doors for him yeah. because that's like an endorsement. Mm -hmm. He actually said, I, you're, he said something about him being a great, I think you're a great, you're, you're so wonderful. You're fantastic. You're this fan is fantastic. Yeah. Never give up on your dream. You know, yeah. and so, um, this is this is the biggest endorsement anybody can ever get. Forget the fact that people have their reservations and inhibitions about Donald Trump, mm -hmm. but this is the president of the world endorsing your talent. Mm -hmm. Those are open. So um, creative on the docks. Um, I hope you're able to manage um, the, the attention. The, the attention is about to come on you because it's big. This is huge. We don't, yeah, he, don't, he doesn't even understand. He doesn't even understand what he's about to come into right now. So I just thought he has people around him who can manage it well. And keep the publicity going. Yeah, and this Congratulations is um, to him. This is the yeah. good thing about um, social media. I know we we like to talk about how bad it can be, how it can fuel depression, yeah. how people are not paying attention to the things they're supposed to pay attention anymore, being addicted to social media. But at the same time, if you understand that platform, if you understand whatever platform you have chosen to use, whether Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it could change your life overnight. It's just about you understanding that you still have to be something outside social media, then bring that personality, bring that talent, bring what you have to offer to that platform and watch your life change, right? So yeah. we need to begin to focus more on the positives and let the negatives go. Like, social media has changed the lives of so many people. I dare to say it has also changed my life to a large extent. So let's focus on the good part. And now to the very funny part. I <laughs> on, uh, on a particular blog where I saw this, I saw comments from people and they were like, ah, Papa Donald Trump, drop money now. Which one is? No. Your dream is coming. Like, no. You know, so they expected, you know the way Kevin Hart did it and like, um, I'm buying it off, it off yeah. and then um, I'll buy two more for my friends and all that to actually appreciate and say yeah. this is worth something. So, yeah. so many people expected that and I'm sure that was what this guy expected too. However, like you said, this endorsement is That's huge, an endorse I mean, and he needs to manage it <laughs> exactly. properly. I mean, this is an endorsement. This is an, not, not everything. Every time should be should should be monetary. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Kevin Hart is an entertainer, so he can afford to do that. This is we're talking about the president right here. The decorums, the the things. Well, again, Trump Trump has money it. before being a president. I know mm -hmm. Trump Trump again. You never can tell what could go on after now. He could decide to use somebody else. One of it's he's, he's busy to, with his to, campaign. That's it. To be, mm -hmm. to, yeah, it's just like <laughs> so. You know, so let, let's not just quantify to that. Mm. It's an endorsement, big time endorsement. So yeah. this guy should be should be should be busy for the rest of his life. He knows exactly uh, what he's doing. Seems there's a resemblance between him and Donald Trump. No, there's not. Don't do that. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, A Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Alto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchor, Benny Ark. Thank you for being here. And the entire production team. And of course, um, everybody for making this work. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.